take this opportunity just to run through the hydraulic connections that Citroen use because we've got a pipe we need to mend and I'll describe that a little bit later on. So here I've got an end of a pipe uh, with a union on it and this is a, an actual joiner piece which has got the special end in it, not that you need to see that. But what we have here is you have um, a slightly reduced section there which is produced by the end maker. Then you have a swaged bit of pipe which this union then will butt up against and the whole thing screws into wherever it's whatever joint it is part of the car or, or whatever hydraulic bit but the key point is that it has a rubber little tubular rubber seal that slips over the pipe like that and then goes into the joiner and then is tightened up when you tighten up this this union it compresses the rubber and makes a perfect seal uh, quick little point here as you see this one's got a green stripe on it so this is for LHM the early ones which are red are with LHS and the two are not interchangeable so for LHS you have to use the red uh, seals and for LHM you use a green seals so I explained the reason why we're doing this is that uh, on this particular car the brake pipe which I've got here was put into the caliper without a seal and in order to make it so it didn't leak it was tightened up so much that the pipe had distorted and was uh, rammed into the into the caliper which meant that in order to get it apart, I actually ended up fracturing the end of the pipe. I might be able to do it here. So the end is not only fractured, but it's bent, and also this union is rather burred over. So what I'm going to do is cut the end of the pipe here, because I've got sufficient length to be able to um, re reclaim this, and going to remake the end using the special end making tool, which I shall demonstrate. So here I have the end of the pipe, which I've straightened a little bit and I've uh, just dressed the end and I, before I'm doing anything else I'm going to put the union on slide it down the pipe that'll do a little bit now you can see that um, although I've dressed the end it's a bit grubby and there's dirt got it as I've cut it so what I'm going to do is with a drill two and a half mil drill that's all I need to do and then just to dress the outside edge take off any burrs which may have occurred during either cutting it or with filing so this is the original steel pipe, which is slightly t tougher to actually form the uh, uh, little bulge on the end of the pipe, as I'll show you in a minute. Kuna for ones, such as this pipe here, are much easier to work. So there we have the, the end filed, so now I need to move on and put it in the tool. But before I do that, because you're not supposed to be looking, I'm going to straighten the pipe a bit more using my tool to get it so it's dead straight. So this device here is the tool you need to make the ends, the special ends for Mr. Citroen. So what I've got is you need a, uh, about four inches or so of a uh, straight bit of pipe. I don't know if you can see that from on top, but then it get, fits into two halves of a die and put the top half of the die on and just loosely, loosely nip it and with the back end of this part of the die, I position the end so it's the right length, like that, oh, hold it in, and then tighten up the clamp. Nice and tight. Now I reverse this piece, because it has the internal shape that I want on the pipe, and then this is quite hard to pull it. And I'm hoping that is now made the correct shape on my pipe. Split the die and take it out and there we have the required bulge on the end of the pipe to stop that coming off. This one's not perfect but it will do the job.